What's up everyone, Andrew Baina here, and on today's video we are going to be checking out the brand new Harley Benton JA Baritone guitar. So I think Toman and Harley Benton severely underestimated the hype around these things. Basically it is a 30 inch Jazzmaster style baritone guitar, which is obviously meant to replicate or closely replicate the infamous Squire Vintage Modified Baritone Jazzmaster, which I have over here. So for this video, what I'm going to do is show you what this guitar sounds like in a full demo mix. Then we're going to come back, talk about the specs and features of this instrument, and last but not least, compare it to the Baritone Jazzmaster from Squire and see how close they actually sound. So with all that being said, let's get on to the full demo mix. I currently have this guitar tuned down to a drop E style tuning, which is the tuning that Loathe uses because I'm gonna be playing a short cover of half of their song called Dance On My Skin. So I believe the tuning is E, A, E, A, D, F sharp. A Little bit of a weird tuning, but that's what's going on there. For the low string, I have an 80 gauge string, and then I believe for the rest of them, it's like a 14 to 64 or something like that. So with that being said, this is how the Harley Benton Baritone JA guitar sounds in a full demo mix. Okay, now that you've heard how this guitar sounds in a full demo mix, we're gonna talk about the specs and features of this instrument. First and foremost is, of course, the 30-inch scale length. I know there was a little bit of confusion on this because Harley Benton originally listed it as 27 inches somewhere and 30 inches somewhere, so it's a little confusing, but I'm here to guarantee you that it is definitely 30 inches. While we're on the topic of the neck, it is a bolt-on neck, which is maple. It has these big block perloid inlays and a purple heart fretboard. As for the body of this guitar, it is made out of poplar and has two pickups, which are P90 pickups. And then it also has Harley Benton's own kind of uh, hip shot-ish style bridge. It's just kind of a generic hardtail bridge. Honestly, I like it better than the one on the Squire. And then likewise with the tuning pegs, these are just some proprietary Harley Benton tuning pegs. In my opinion, this is the weakest part of the guitar. It still holds tuning just fine, but personally, I am really not a fan of plastic tuning pegs. I think they feel very, very cheap. And because of the style of the mechanism, you can't actually replace just the tuning pegs, you would have to replace the entire tuner, I'm pretty sure. Other than that, just one more thing, which is the electronics. Very simple, it is a three-way pickup selector with a volume and tone knob, and that's really all there is to this guitar. Okay, so next up, what I'm gonna do is actually compare it to the Squire Baritone Jazzmaster, because again, Obviously, it's made to kind of compete and copy this one uh, pretty much exactly. So we're going to plug both in in the same tuning and see how they stack up against each other. First up, we're going to show the Harley Benton and then the Squire. I'm going to play the exact same riff in the exact same tuning on both guitars, all running through the exact same tone settings and all of that good stuff. So this is how these two guitars sound back to back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so that's pretty much going to do it for this video. In my opinion, this guitar absolutely is worth buying if it's in stock at the time you see this video. Now, I do want to mention one more time, this video isn't necessarily sponsored by Harley Benton because I actually bought this guitar on my own with my own money and did not tell them I was doing these videos. I just saw it go up for sale and grabbed it immediately because I knew it was going to sell out. And guess what? It did. But with that being said, while this isn't directly sponsored by Harley Benton, I do have a working relationship with that company. So bear that in mind. Um, I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible, like always, but you know, just figured that was worth saying. And also, of course, if you buy one of these guitars or anything else from Toman using the links in the comment or the description below, I do make affiliate money off of that, and that would be greatly appreciated. As for my final thoughts on this instrument, I actually really like everything about it. The only thing I don't like, which I'm sure I've mentioned a few times now, is those tuning pegs. They just feel really, really cheap to me. Um, if I decide to keep this guitar, that is probably the one and only thing I would mod on this, is get rid of these tuning pegs as soon as possible and replace them with something that feels much more sturdy. With that being said, they seem to hold tuning fine. It's mostly just a feel thing for me. I really don't like how they feel. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm just not a fan of that part of the guitar. Like I mentioned as well, the bridge is so much easier to uh, intonate and set up than the Squire Vintage Modified Baritone Jazzmaster Bridge. I don't really know like what this bridge is, but I absolutely hate it, and so does my guitar tech. He said that this one was infinitely easier to work with. As for the pickups and the overall sound of this guitar, I think it sounds really good. Uh, I think that the value that you're getting for this guitar is pretty unbelievable, especially if you're looking for something that sounds like this without buying this, because these are now like $1,200 used, which is insane, whereas these I think are under $200 US at least at the time of making this video. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope it was informative. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I look forward to reading your comments as always. And of course, last but not least, a big thank you to all the Patreon members whose names are on the screen at this point in time. That's all I got to say. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.